Hello and welcome. I am Raghav and today we are going to learn how you can refer data from different data sources like different Excel or CSV files in a test case in Catalon Studio. So let's get started and I will go to my Catalon Studio and I have just created a very simple test here. So you can see this is a simple test which logs in into an application and I have used this demo application Orange HRM and here in this application you can see we have a login we can use admin and admin123 credentials and login and these are the steps I have recorded in this test case I will also make the link for this application available in the notes all these notes will be available to you in the description section of this video so now I have just recorded this test now I want to refer some data from the from Excel files so let's say I want to get the URL the username and the password from an Excel file. So I will go to my desktop and I will create a new folder. You can create your files at any location on your system. I will name this as data. And here I'm going to create a new Excel file. And I will say this is data one. And here, let us say I want to use the data for username and password from this file so I will create two columns for username and password and I will give the values here so the username is admin and password is admin123 however if you see here for password we are using uh, the keyword set encrypted text and therefore the value that we need for password should be in the encrypted form so I will go to help and say encrypt text and give my password and this is the encrypted text I will copy this and use this in my password field here and I can have multiple other data sets so I will say ABCD and I can again give some encrypted password here uh, PQRS and so on so I have added the data here username and password now I will close this this is my data one I have another Excel file I want to create another Excel file as well so I will create a new Excel worksheet and I will say this is data 2 and I will open this and let us say I also want to get the URL from Excel file and this is a different Excel file so the URL of the application which is this URL I will put here and I can have some other URLs as well like abc.com and I will have something like pqrs.com so these are just some dummy URLs that I am putting for test data and here it should refer the URL so again I will save and close this so now you can see we here have two data files and I want to refer the data from these files into a single test case. So the very first step is I have to parameterize the data or I have to create variables for the data. So I will go to the variables tab in the test case and I will create all the variables. So I have to create a variable for username and I have to create a variable for password and I have to create a variable for URL so let me just save this again password and this is URL I can uh, add some default values but I am just keeping it blank because anyways it is going to be referred from the data files so I have created these variables now I will save it go to my test case manual view and here instead of this hard-coded values I have to use the variables. so I will double click on this URL and here I will say value type is variable and the variable I will use here is URL similarly for username I will say this is variable and the variable name is username and similarly for password Alright, so I have used these three variables and now 
I will add my data files or the Excel files in the data file section. So we have to add it in Catalon Studio inside the data files section. So I will do a right click on data files, say new test data and I will say this is test data one and this is coming from an Excel file and here I will browse my Excel file. So I'll go to my desktop data folder and this is data1.excel and that's it. I have got my data here. Similarly, now I will add another test data and I will call this as test data 2. Again, it is coming from an Excel file and this time I will use my second Excel file which is data2.xlsx and open it and I have got the data here. So I will save my project and now I will create a new test suite. I'll just create a new test suite here. I will name this as test suite 1 and I will add my test case. So I will add my test case to this test suite and save this and now I will click on show data binding here. Now once you click here you should get all your variables that you have added in your test here. So I am able to see all my variables. Now I will add the test data. So I will click on add here and add both of my test data. So both of them are added here and now I will click on this button map all so that it will map the variables from the test data to the test case variables. So I will say map all and you can see it says found three matches. So that means it is successful and if you go here in the variable binding now you can see the username and password are being referred from a data file test data one. So if you expand this you will see it is being referred from data one and then the URL is being referred from test data two and everything is working fine. So just now I have to run and check. So they should run three times and should refer the data from both the data files or Excel files. So this is the first run which should be using all the valid credentials and URL and this is working fine. Then the next one. So this is an invalid URL. So let us see. It is actually not even taking that URL because it looks like that is a invalid URL. So let me just do one thing. Uh, just to check, although I believe it is, it will take it, but just to check, I will go to my test data or data two, and let me give, let me give something like, I'll say. Instead of HTTPS, let me give a non-secure thing, HTTP and here as well. And I will check with this. So basically I just need to verify this is being referred in the test. I will save this and go to my Catalon Studio and again run the test. So the first iteration which is valid, the second iteration and you can see it is now going to some abc.com which was the URL and it is of course invalid so it will not go further and it will fail and similarly the third one which is again pqrs.com again something invalid it will not go further. Alright so this is how you can refer data from multiple data sources. Now in this example, I have used an Excel file. It can also be a data from a CSV file. It can be a database data or an internal data, or it can also be a combination of any of these data types. So I hope this was useful for you. Thank you for watching.